Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, the most exciting part of French cuisine in winter is the delicacies of gibier food. Gibier is a French term for game birds and animals such as quail, duck, deer, and rabbits. In France, hunting season begins in November, and gourmets look forward to the game meat served at top restaurants. But gibier food is not yet widely recognized in Japan. This raised the question in my mind, are there any experts in this field here? So. I took on the search myself and finally came across a man at a French restaurant in Ebisu, Tokyo. I consider him the best when it comes to gibier food in Japan. He goes as far as to say the gibier food found in Japan are mere imitations, the true essence misunderstood. Now let me introduce him, the top gibier chef in Japan from the Aladdin in Ebisu, Tokyo, Seiya Kawasaki. His talents can be confirmed in the broad range of ingredients he is capable of manipulating. Saute your frog's legs, potatoes and ginkgo nuts. Pig trotters, very rarely used in France, cleverly combined with quail. And the magnificent deer heart, a rarity in Japan. The man needs no further proof of his caliber. His background should be convincing enough. He stepped into the world of French cooking at age 20 and left for France four years later. Spending a total of nine years there, apprenticing at many top establishments, including quite a few three-star restaurants. In France, he became intrigued in gibier food, the art of meat and blood. Blood of the game is sometimes used um, to add flavor, and innards are also often used. Kawasaki's dishes are not merely imitations of the French recipes. They are based on his depth of knowledge of game birds and animals, and his original creativity. In the wild-looking dishes, you will find a delicate balance of ingredients, as well as his bold character. So now, Kawasaki, spread your wings and go wild in my kitchen stadium. Let us see the essence of Gibier cuisine. This is not about winning or losing. I want to do things I always wanted to do in the kitchen.
Today, a French chef who's got game in more ways than one, and joining us is actress Mayuko Takata. It's a pleasure to be here. Takata-san, yes. uh, you've enjoyed some game dishes in the past, right? Well, in the winter, my father hunts game birds in the mountains. Mm -hmm. So I do enjoy duck, pheasant, and others. All right. You're way ahead of me there. <laughs> no. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure. And our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hatori Duck. Always a pleasure. All right, let's bring him on, Chairman Kaga. Nihon all right, the hunter prey in his sights, entering Kitchen Stadium, the top man in Japan for handling game meats, here today to try to have it his way with an Iron Chef. Nice to meet you. Nihon的ジビエは真似事にすぎないというあなたの言葉の意味を今日はここで。Yes, I'll do my best. Making their ascent into Kitchen Stadium, the men who dominate the nation's culinary landscape, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. Sakai-san, please. All right, Sakai, the man pursued by Kawasaki. Both French cuisine chefs, but quite a contrast in styles. Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, one of the first to fuse Japanese cooking techniques with French recipes. And for his artistic use of color and presentation, he's known as the Delacroix of French cuisine. With his delicate touch, how will Sakai do today against a man known for his wild and bold dishes? ジビエ料理の第一人者にふさわしい素材。私は今まで使った素材を振り返ってみたところ、まだあの鳥を使っていなかったことに気づいたのです。ジビエの中では最も癖がなく日本では卵しか使わないあの鳥。それでは発表します
Kawasaki there first, and quite a number of quail up there, Doc. Right, yeah. And quail eggs often used in Japanese cuisine, but the meat, no, I've never had quail meat before. Right, well, here in Japan, the meat is generally not used, whereas right? in France and other European countries, the meat is often used in a lot of different dishes. All right, that means today our panel of tasters will have a chance to enjoy quail meat, maybe for the first time. Of course, it is the first time to have some dishes made by an expert in cooking game meats. That's what Kawasaki is. The number one guy for making game meat dishes in the country says what the other chefs are doing is just all copycat stuff. <laughs> It's probably used to handling this too, and Sakai should be too right with this theme. Yeah, exactly. Uh, in winter, both yeah, these guys should have uh, had some experience with this meat. So the key to this battle would be their choice of recipes and, of course, their own little originality thrown in. Okay, and quail is in season now, I, I understand that. Yeah, you're right. Fall to winter, it's the, the hunting season, I guess you would call it. So it is hunter's food, a, a game bird, yeah. Okay, and now the Iron Chef here and, ooh, Chopping the head off that <laughs> one. Yeah. Small birds they are. Fukuzan! From the floor, Shinichiro to go. Yeah, let me start out by giving you a list of ingredients that the Iron Chef has prepared here on his side. A variety of mushrooms, maitake, shimeji, and shiitake mushrooms, raw ham, flour, and quail eggs. Back to you. All right, Sakai's got the eggs too. Hmm. Could make that one like uh, chicken and egg on rice, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we <are> on. <laughs> All right, now back to Kawasaki side, getting a lot of prep work done. And what, five or six of these things here? Yeah, well, he might be thinking one bird per taster, so he could have a dish with maybe a, one, one whole quail. With yeah. roasted quail? Yeah, that could be, sure. It's wild enough with this game bird. Definitely. Now look what he's doing with these. This helps get rid of the smaller feathers on the skin. Incredible, mm. just Kusan. burning them off the skin. Yes, yeah, Sota. Yeah, the challenger says he plans to prepare four types of dishes, an appetizer, a soup, a roasted dish, and a stewed dish. All right. And uh, he also says he's definitely going to win this thing. He was very clear on that. Ooh, hey. <laughs> well, did you see his reaction when uh, he realized the chairman was gonna unveil quail? Mm. He was trying hard to suppress his delight. Got to be feeling pretty confident over there. And now Sakai still at the cutting board. Yeah, that and could be Kuzan? rolled into the quail meat. Yes. I asked Iron Chef Sakai what he thought about quail today's theme, and his reply was, well, it's really nice to have a purely French ingredient for a change, if you know what I mean. That'll be a piece of cake. Leave it to me. I'll beat him. <laughs> Iron Chef feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, none of them backing away from uh, each other, that's hey, for sure. this is exciting. Kyle Kawasaki says it's in the bag for him. Sakai says a piece of cake. Leave it to me. Well, <laughs> one of them's going to be leaving here with the sour taste because only one man can win. Recently, Sakai's had pie keel, yam, potatoes, matsutake mushrooms, but a purely French cuisine ingredient. Very today. happy about mm. that, yeah. He's pulling out the ribs right now. Yeah, you're right. And mm -hmm. will this be used for a stock? Or? Uh, that is one way to do that, but I'm not sure if he's got time for that. Oh, right, right, right. So I think he might just be doing this to open up some room to stuff the bird. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Fukuzan! Yes! Yeah, here on the Iron Chef side, one of his assistants is plucking the feathers from the quail heads that he severed earlier, which leads us to believe that there just might be a dish using those quail heads. Whoa! Quail <laughs> heads on the plate? <laughs> okay. Does that happen? Uh, well, you know, fish heads are a delicacy in the Orient, but bird's heads, I don't know. <laughs> well, in Europe, they do sometimes have them on a plate as a decoration. Decoration? Uh, Boy. We want to see how that works out. Now, the challenger side, more more birds they picked up and trucked back down. Okay. Fukuzan. Yes. Yeah, as you've noticed, they have picked up another 10 birds. 10? Man alive. Jeez, oh, that's wow. quite a handful there. <laughs> okay, and loading up on the game birds is Challenger Kawasaki. Uh, now, how much does one bird weigh? Uh, about 200 grams. So 10 would be 2 kilos, almost 5 pounds. Fukuzan. Yes. I asked Challenger Kawasaki about the key elements when preparing game, and he said three things. First, you have to accentuate the natural flavor. Second, make use of the blood and the innards. And thirdly, keep things wild and bold. That's what I'm doing, and I think you're going to love it. All right, thanks, Ota. And here we've got, uh, what got is some this? rice. Okay, it's on the challenger side. Uh, maybe for stuffing? I think you're right, yeah. In the bird, ooh. Oh, this is good. The flavor will penetrate the ingredients. Yeah, like you're the right. Korean dish, right? The chicken stuffed with ginseng? Oh, oh yeah, some yeah. Getan. Right, yeah. Okay, this could be the uh, French version of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never seen it in a French cookbook. All but right, now be. to the Iron Chef side. Looks like some kind of rolling job in progress yeah, right he's here. He's got the cabbage out. And that should go well with this bird, I think. Oh, All right. Definitely, yeah. Quail and cabbage is a nice mix. Okay, and Sakai wrapping Kuzan. that. Yes. Yeah, quick update. I told you earlier that the challenger had picked up 10 more quails. That makes a grand total of 22 on his side. Back to you. <laughs> my, oh, my. <laughs> 
Oh, boy. I think I'm picking up the aroma of some of the curry. Mm, Did you catch so. a whiff of that? It smells good. This is coming from Kawasaki's side, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes, right there. Yeah, this is the one right here. And boiling away. Mm -hmm. We're not sure if it's for a soup or a sauce yet, but the challenger's definitely added some curry powder to it. And now on his side, watch out over there. Now what's this? <laughs> Looks like the roof of the Tokyo Dome. Oh. <laughs> what the heck He's is on. this? Yes. Yeah, this pot boiling over does look a little like the Tokyo Dome now that you mention it, but what it actually is, is celery root being boiled in milk. Okay, oh, celery okay. root. That's right. Okay, it's been a while since we saw that. I think I used it when I was a challenger. Right. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, when you lost. <laughs> what, now, what'd you do with it? <laughs> well, I made a puree, so I think he'll probably do the same. Okay, and now look here. Challenger Kawasaki using quail eggs. Yeah, he's got those. Both sides going to be using quail eggs in a dish. Kuzan. Yes. This pot boiling over does look a little like the Tokyo Dome now that you mention it, but what it actually is is celery root being boiled in milk. Oh, okay. Celery root. That's right. Okay, it's been quite a while since we saw that last. I think I used it when I was the challenger. Right. Oh, right. Yes, when yes. you lost. Now, what'd you do with <laughs> oh. it? <laughs> Made a puree, so I, I think you'll probably do the same. All right, now look here. Challenger Kawasaki using quail eggs, too. Yeah, he's got them there. Both sides going to be using quail eggs in a dish, maybe more than one dish, but quail eggs are in play. Now, back to Sakai. Okay. And he is uh, tying it up here, I think, the roll that he was working on. Yeah, that's to uh, maintain the shape there. Oh, so he's going to tie it. Okay. Yeah, now yeah. probably steam this. I okay, think. now mm. Kawasaki and he's um, also got a tying job. Yeah, you do this with the string to maintain the shape. Without this, the legs, they don't stay in place. They're so that's, the, I, that's yeah. the idea there. Tie them up, keep the legs in tight. Exactly. It's a very common approach. Okay, now the Iron Chef, he's got rice too. Okay, uh, risotto in progress, man. Risotto, you know that already? Well, this could be used as a stuffing too, I guess. Okay, sure. could go with yeah. that too. Mm -hmm. So both chefs doing a few things oh, yeah. in a similar fashion so far in the early going. Yeah, the methods are similar, you're right. Fukuzan? Yes. Iron Chef Sakai says he has decided to concentrate on only three dishes today. All right, just three. Maybe doing his best to stay focused. Okay, uh -huh. now look what he's got here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Chinese cabbage. And the leaves there already boiled? Mm. I think lightly boiled, yeah. So it's boiled cabbage and... Yes, and okay, well, whatever it is, it's being packed in, what, that ceramic cooking yeah, dish? Maybe for making a terrine. All right. So he'll pour the meat and other things from the food processor into there. Okay, and working on that one right now, more cabbage, very busy. Yeah. and the stove on that side. <laughs> Quail terrine. Yeah, that'd be hmm. my guess. Okay, now back Kusan. with Sakai, yes. Yeah, in this bowl, the Iron Chef uh, is stirring a combination of quail meat, dried scallops, salt and pepper, and egg whites. Back to you. Interesting oh, mix. Okay. Yeah, huh? very. Okay, and these are figs, right? You're right, yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, I should say that uh, this bird goes very well with, with fruit like this. All right, didn't know that. Yeah, yes. you take a fruit that's in season, it's Definitely. a perfect match. Mm. Okay, and now the Iron Chef's assistant into the smaller cups here. Yeah, Sakai sounds pouring the mix into that. Dried scallops as well, I think. And then how does he proceed from here with this? This. I would say he'll probably steam it. All right, we uh -huh. shall see. Iron Chef with the, uh, whoa, Ooh. Uh -oh. check it out. <laughs> Quails of fire. Wow. <laughs> Flambe, big time there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kawasaki, some flame throwing in the kitchen. Man, <laughs> the flames there must have been shooting up, I'd say about, what, five feet high there. Really? Really? <laughs> Don't you Pretty think? Much. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Still with Kawasaki now. Okay, okay, now you see this is going into the terrine casing. So he'll probably steam this, huh? I would say lost. bake. Oh, huh? yeah. For once. You two in disagreement. Well, I'll just have to see. Time will tell. I've got no opinion on the matter. <laughs> now, if we take a look at the Iron Chef here, he's adding beer and flour. Oh, yeah. So I'm right. thinking this would be for a fritter of some sort. Straight from mm. the can. Kuzan? Yes. Yeah, as you've already noticed, the Iron Chef has another bowl here. To this one, he has added beer first, like you said, then buckwheat flour, eggs, and finally cornstarch. All right. Thanks, Ota. Okay, it's definitely going to be a batter for deep frying then. Brew for the batter. That sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> and he's got potatoes in there. Yep, potatoes. Okay, a layer of them in there. And now, look, here go oh, the quail eggs. okay, in there. Oh, now that's unique, isn't a it? A layer of <laughs> quail eggs there. Yeah. Wow, is that ever cool? Which came first, the quail or the egg? <laughs> Paired an egg terrine. <laughs> you At go. any rate, they're both in there, and now adding the paste from the processor. And Kawasaki making use of more than the meat, blood, and organs, the eggs. That's what people here would generally know the mm. flavor of. Right. All right, 30 minutes gone, 30 to go, crossing the halfway point into the second half of this all-French cuisine battle. The men making it happen with quail. 
Well, the theme ingredient today, Iron Chef's side, looks like he's spreading out, flattening out some uh, quail meat there. Yeah, this is the stuff that he had earlier. And that's the rice, I think. And I said he'd be stuffing it, right? One of the possibilities, yes. Yeah. And? And fried in buckwheat. <laughs> In that batter with, the, with beer. Right, right. Yeah, okay. Batter. Now, to be accurate, he didn't stuff it, but rolled it up there. Oh, okay. So I was, I was trying to block my way through it. <laughs> I was okay, wrong. Okay, it's similar to stuffing. Close enough. We'll okay. give you that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And this is uh, rice sauvage. Sauvage, which yeah, is... Uh, wild what? rice. Okay, sounds good. And uh, being wild oh, rice, it grows near marshlands. So actually, it's not even a rice at all. It's, it's a wild grass, and oh. it's uh, harvested during a few months of the year, and... This okay. is the time, right in season now. And now he's also adding some tame rice to it, the <laughs> non-wild variety. Okay, well, if I was a bet man, I'd say uh, the money goes on stuffing this. For sure? Oh, yeah. yeah this, use Good. for stuffing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, now here comes the rolled cabbage. Okay, now did he steam this? What is This has been steamed? Boiled. Boiled? Was it? Boiled. It came out of the steamer, so you are correct. Oh, okay. The Iron Chef's cabbage wrapped roll received the steaming treatment. Now they're going to stash that away in the fridge and give it a cool down. So, as far as the process goes, it's very similar to a terrine. Mm -hmm. All right, yes. now on the challenger side, Kawasaki, terrine in hand and going into the steamer there, or what? Uh, uh, no, what did I say? <laughs> you said baking. <laughs> it's out now, but they can't fit it in there. That's okay, the now problem. Okay, what's he doing? Okay, so there's no space that he could still be baking this in. Yeah, <laughs> you'd like him to, <laughs> but they've got it in there now. Yes. Uh, yeah. Now another quick update. Earlier, Challenger Kawasaki had said he was shooting for four dishes. He says the three that he's working on now are looking pretty good, but he may not have the time for the last one. That news just in from the Challenger side. All right, oh. man's working hard. Got a hold of some more quails over there. Twenty minutes left. Beginning to chop away at them. Too. Too. Meantime, Iron Chef side. And Let's for yes. Yeah, the items being deep fried now are the heads. Frying up the heads. Yes, he's uh, deep frying the heads. <laughs> heads. Look at them, looking pretty clean shaven. I can see the little beaks. <laughs> Not exactly appetizing. <laughs> kind of gross, really. you might say. Quail heads swirling around in a pot of hot oil. Blech. Now his roll's been put on ice. Yeah. I Probably the fridge wouldn't do it quick enough, so he's chilling them nice. Okay, but, here. but a question, won't the water seep in? Mm, uh, yeah, it question. should be okay, I think. All right, take your word for it. And now the Iron Chef appealing operation here in progress. Yeah, he's got some western pears there. Okay, pears. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, when Iron Chef Sakai heard the 20 minute call, he screamed, Oh boy, we're not going to make it. And he wasn't acting. He really is in a panic over here. Panic uh, setting in. Pressed for time. Both huh? chefs battling the clock in this one. Yeah, well, there's a lot of extra time needed to prepare these birds, and that uh, that can help kill the clock. And right look there. at Kawasaki, still at it even now. Yeah, the birds with, you know, the, when they still have the feathers on, that's a, a lot of work for just one hour. Mm. Okay, in the center, there's the rice stuffing. Yeah. Okay, stuffing the birds. I'm not so sure now, though. <laughs> Almost 45 <laughs> minutes in, still waffling on this one. Gosh, but he is, he he is stuffing time. them right is there. Is going to have enough time? Right, he's got Can a he make quenelle, it? yeah? I don't know. And now the assistants are really going to have to help out here, though. But he is alone right there doing the stuffing job, and not much time to get these birds cooked and finished in the late going of this battle. It is really too much for one person. The mm. easiest of the game birds, quail, easiest to cook, but still no way to get around the requisite prep work. Right, yeah. And he is working up a sweat, and now 15 minutes left in the battle, uh -oh. all the prep wow. work having really cut into the cooking time, and Sakai working at an even faster clip now. Kawasaki still got a lot left to do as well. You know, I, again, I don't think he's going to make this if the assistants really don't help out here. Kawasaki side here, out of the pot now, mm. and in out of the pan into the pot. Yeah, remember the bird that he was tying the legs up on? Right. He's going to put it in a pot for steaming or braising. Mm -hmm. mm, those are fine looking birds. Yeah. Definitely right there, Challenger Kawasaki side. Now the Iron Chef looks like more cabbage or lettuce leaves over there. Boiling them, yes. Okay, in the strainer and throwing more in. And what do you think? Sakai said he'd have three. Maybe uh, one of them will be a salad or some kind of dish. Mm. Well, he made the pears into a puree. Oh, he did, pureed oh, pears. Oh, yeah, the puree, you're right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Takara-san is exactly right. He has taken the pears and pureed them. All right, got it. Very good call. Good eyes there. Oh, I just caught it, you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But the Iron Chef is scrambling around in here. These are boiled quail eggs, right? Looks uh, like they've yep. been boiled. Yep. Peeling them seems like a lot of work, huh? Yeah, not an easy task there either. Ah. Uh, wait a minute. They're raw? No, maybe they're medium. They? Well, the egg yolk's soft. At any rate, the Iron Chef, a flurry of activity, usually don't seem have to pick it up like this. Well, he looks panicked. <laughs> Get the feeling that on both sides, these guys aren't going to be able to bring in exactly what they had in mind, just what they can finish before the hour is up. Mm. 
Yeah, they, they do look that way, don't they? Now, if we get a shot of the Challenger over here, I think he's stuffing the bird Yes, now. he is. He is still mm -hmm. on that in the late going. Mm -hmm. Now, the stuffing itself is already cooked, so he's right. probably thinking about doing the service. It'll take about 10 minutes. He can get it done in 10 minutes? Yeah, well, and how much time do we have left? Got here? about 12 minutes left. Okay, 12. Holy moly. Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think you noticed the black pot here on the Challenger side. Let me see if we can get another uh, shot of it. Uh, he says that this will be used by he himself for serving a dish personally right in front of the tasters. Oh, that makes sense. All right, and the stuffed quails into the frying pan. Just a little over 12 minutes remaining. Sprinkling some salt or spice on them, making only three and cutting it close with the cooking time to the finish line. All right, and now the stuffed quails into the frying pan with just a little over 12 minutes remaining. Sprinkling some salt or spice on them, making only three and cutting it close with the cooking time to the finish line. Now, I noticed three pieces, but there's four tasters. You would think he'd need one more, but maybe cut them in half, get six servings. We'd have no idea. Maybe he's going to go that way. It's too late to add another one, I'd say. Yeah. Now the Iron Chef side. Frying them. Okay. What's he doing here? I was going to ask you guys. <laughs> Got these battered up and deep frying them? Yes. And these are the ones that he rolled in his version of a stuffing, correct? What well, was rice, wasn't it? Yeah, so like a risotto. Clock mm. moving, no way they can stop it. So the challenger's got his in the oven. Initial pan fry, the three now into the oven. What that means is maybe he'll split them into halves? Yeah, maybe so halves, I think. I think yeah. that I think that's definitely what he'll be doing. Okay. Fukusan! Yes. Hattori-san is absolutely right. He will be serving them in halves rather than whole. Got it. Okay. And well, the right. reason for that is the lack of time. All right, okay. good call. All right, well, this guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> Time becoming critical, and in all the heat of this kitchen, Kawasaki keeping his cool today. Ten minutes now to on go. the Iron Chef side, looks like oh, the deep fried ones. The heads. Oh, the heads. Okay, the these heads. are the heads. Mm, fried heads. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, all right, an order of bird heads to go. But surely we're not going to eat them. <laughs> well, actually, they're, they're good. The brain tastes very good. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. All right, Iron Chef side. He's got his figs here. Okay, they had a nice look on the plate. And now, that one. Oh, that ever cute. Cutting very up the pretty. roll. Was worried that that water might seep in. Doesn't look like that's the case, though. Right. I don't think there's going to be any worries about that. So this dish is a done deal now? Well, you'll notice he's got the cloth around it, so he'll just have to peel that off. Uh -huh. Okay. A cheese cloth there, yes. And in the center of that, the chunkier pieces, foie gras, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's foie gras mm -hmm. and, I imagine, consomme or something along those lines as well. Okay. And now the cheesecloth is off, and this is what the oh, finished piece looks pretty. like. Another <laughs> great job by Sakai. Fukuzan. Yes. Yeah, this is about the bowl containing the ingredients, which is now sitting on Iron Chef Sakai's cutting board. In it, he has the pureed pears, salad oil, tomatoes, and lemon juice, which have all been blended together. Hmm. All right. Okay. Sounds like it could be a dressing. For what? Hmm. Um, I would say this one right here. For this uh -huh. one? Okay, yeah. then we would call it a sauce then. Uh, I guess that would be the proper name, sure. Okay. Hmm, the cabbage looks really fancy, doesn't it? It I'm does, sure. yeah. It's a nice accent. I agree. Now, <laughs> okay, you see he's pouring it. Down uh, and around. Placing it on the plate there, yeah. The pattern for this artistic piece. Yes, once again, the Delacroix at work. As noted earlier, Kawasaki more into the wild and bold cuisine and the Iron Chef more delicate artistic, a presentation specialist. Right. Cuisine? Yes. I reported a while ago that the challenger said he may not have time for a fourth dish, but as of now, he says he probably will have time to complete all four as planned. Hey. That's very impressive. Well, mm. that last yeah. dish, likely the stuffed quails, and able to save a few precious minutes by not having a fourth bird. Mm. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, on the other hand, Iron Chef Sakai was boiling quail eggs, but he says he'll probably have to give up on that dish. He says, unfortunately, he just doesn't have time to finish it. Bailing out. Oh, boy. Not enough time to boil the eggs? <laughs> okay, well, the challenger is making here right now. Okay, I think this will go on to the, or into the black pot. Like a garnish. Okay, that's the one with the stewed quails. And here are the heads, I think. Not for decoration. <laughs> just split the head. Go ahead and sample the brain. That's what it's for, yeah. Okay. What's it taste like? Uh, well, this is fried, so it will be quite crispy. Once you get it in the mouth. All right, we're down to three <laughs> minutes left. And he just added some balsamic vinegar. Iron now. Chef Sakai with yeah, that. Balsamic vinegar sauce. I All guess. right, the Iron Chef with the quail brain, I guess, is a delicacy. <laughs> Side component to his deep fried with rice. Ice rolled in quail meat. And look now, the quail looks like it's raising its wings up. A lot going on in this dish. Very elaborate effort by the Iron Chef. And now back to the challenger 
side and oh, Kawasaki okay. out of the oven. Yeah, his stuffed birds there. Now, have these been cooked enough? Uh, well, it's like I mentioned, the stuffing was pretty well cooked before. So. Okay, right. I remember you saying that. Yeah, yeah. All right, getting that down onto the board. And now two minutes to go exactly. And Doc, you were spot on about these birds. They were going to be cooked for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, you think I'm making this up as I go along? <laughs> well, I'm impressed. <laughs> and with less than two minutes to go, they've broken out the wine, red wine on the Iron Gosh. Chef's side. I'd have to imagine wine would go well with this bird, this oh, game bird. Oh, very for well, game yeah. Food, sure. yeah, it's a very strong red wine would be great, perfect. Okay, and now the Iron Chef, a sauce specialist too, as well as an artistic presenter, laying down another sauce. This is going down with the dish that has the deep fried heads. And now, <laughs> scanning that one on Kawasaki's side, a very earthy presentation. Oh, okay, so he matched it up with that dish. So it wasn't for the pot after all. Okay, and here's the stuffed one. Oh, that's one with the wild rice. Ah. Right, split them up right there, and probably a sauce uh, uh, for it. The gravy would be my guess. Remember that stock that he was making from the legs earlier? Yep. That would be my guess, what he'd use it for. Okay, and getting his tureen, lifting that one from the steamer, and away with it now. Gotta hurry, a minute left, the final 60 seconds. Oh, I hope they make it and in time. Steam dish. <laughs> Gotta get it out. Ooh. Ooh, looking good. No time to slice it. Put it on the plate. Hurry. We're hurry. down to 50 <laughs> seconds. Challenger go, go, Kawasaki. Go. Maybe he doesn't have to get it out now, but wait for the okay. serving. Still, there's a set of empty plates there. They've got to get that taken care of in very short time here. Now the Iron Chef side, Sakai and assistant putting the final touches on this one. A mix of scallops and quail processed and then steamed. Kawasaki still firing away. There's been no let up from the get-go for this man who was trained in France, worked at several three-star restaurants, and now trying to drop the Iron Chef French, Kawasaki displaying his abilities in preparing and cooking game meats. Definitely, he got game. The Iron Chef go. said earlier this was going to be a piece of cake. It's been anything but. There's a scan of the output on his side. We're down to 10 seconds left. Kawasaki hustling as fast Five as he seconds. can. Get his gravy down Three, and out before the finish. Two, Final seconds one. ticking down and that's it. The cooking's done. The quail battle is over. How do you feel now it's over? Well, I do admit that things didn't go as planned. Uh -huh. I wanted to serve a variety of uh, different quail dishes, but because right, of the uh -huh. time constraint, I had to shift gears in some of the dishes oh, halfway I through. See. And I wanted to serve rose quail, whole one for everyone, mm -hmm. but uh, I was only able to do half. Well, sometimes battles, you know. Volume-wise, however, I think what I have will be Enough, I think. Okay, well, that's good. But uh, it didn't go as planned. But are you still confident about winning? That depends on Sakai-san. Okay. You, how do you feel after this one? <laughs> Tough. Tough. <laughs> but you finally had a French ingredient for a change. Did yeah, things no. go as planned? Well, a wild game is really tough to prepare in one hour. Uh-huh. Doing it in such a short time is uh, really difficult. Difficult, I'm sure. Any comments about today's challenger, Chef Kawasaki? Yeah, he's a rising chef. Mm, so I guess we did our best in the one hour. All right, good job in there. Yes. Challenger Kawasaki is offering four dishes. First, sautéed quail salad quail sautéed in olive oil matched with chestnuts and ginkgo nuts, creating a simple salad with the balsamic vinegar dressing. Second, quail terrine and consommé, with the terrine resting atop a consommé broth. The soft mousse and Chinese cabbage add extra interest. Third, quail stewed in port wine. The look is wild, but the calculation precise. And the celery root puree draws out the natural flavor of the tender meat. Last is roast quail stuffed with wild rice. The gravy, with stock taken from the bones, has a strong yet sophisticated flavor with a degree of sweetness. Iron Chef Sakai counters with three dishes. First, quail soup. He made a puree of dried scallops and quail, mixed it with consomme and steamed it. It's a wonderful starter. Quail and foie gras rolled in cabbage. He chilled the roll and added some chopped up walnuts to it. The naturally sweet and sour pear sauce blends nicely with the flavor of wild quail meat. Last, quail risotto. The impact of the crispy fried heads is softened by the mushroom risotto, deep fried in a beer flavored buckwheat batter. He's the top man in Japan for handling the meat of game birds and animals. It's the art of dealing with meat and blood. Today's challenger, Seiya Kawasaki. 
Game enough to go hunting for his counterpart in French cuisine, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. Chairman Kaga delivers on the theme ingredient, unveiling the straightforward and simple game bird, quail. Challenger Kawasaki relishing the opportunity blazes his way to a set of four dishes. Iron Chef Sakai confident early, scrambling late, finishes with a threesome. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the quail battle are former lower house member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Mayuko Takata, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Kawasaki. Well, this is just splendid. You know, every blessing from the mountain is just packed into this dish. This is just saying to me, I've brought this to you from the mountains. Enjoy, please. I feel the wilderness of the mountains in this. And it's also really pretty. Dynamic this dish is, also in flavor. Now he'll serve his tureen and finish it by pouring consomme over it. Well, the mousse sort of melts in my mouth, while the Chinese cabbage maintains its shape. Yeah, and the mousse is so soft, I think it's even softer than tofu. I like this very much. And now his stewed quail offering, accompanied by celery root puree. I hope you enjoy this. Well, I didn't know quail tasted this good. Honestly, I knew what the eggs tasted like, but this was the first time for me to try the meat. In plain terms, it's similar to beef stew, but a bit more tender, with a kind of a special texture to it, actually. This is just perfect. <laughs> I, can't, I can't find the words. This dish best expresses, really, the season of fall. The rice is it's cooked quite differently from Japanese rice, and the roast quail, they send a breeze of wild energy that seems to go throughout my whole body. And the aroma of the curry adds such a nice touch to this. This is much more mild than I first expected, this taste. When you hear the word game, you might think of oiliness, but you handled this perfectly. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Sakai. Mmm, this is a consomme flavored chicken chawanmushi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. You could call this a high-class egg mousse. The aroma and the flavor are so well calculated. Well, you, you go, this is quail. I sense the aroma of the meat, and it's really quite pleasant. It's very good. I think you intentionally try to accentuate the wild aroma of this ingredient, and the sweet sauce draws that wild flavor out even more. It's very well done. The cabbage and the pear, they're really solo players in this dish. There's not much unity here, really. I wish there was a bit more harmony or agreement with the ingredients in this dish. Now, of course, that's just what I think. The brain in Chinese cooking, for example, is the best part. You must serve it first to the honorable guest of the day. Well, it was quite crispy, you know? The rice beer of the brain tasted good. I tried this together with the main item in the center, and now those together, that one was really nice. It was very delicious. Using buckwheat for batter was a good idea. It added a nice aroma. And if I may, uh, I wonder if you could let me have another head. 
Heads up, who's got the game to win this quail battle? We'll find out. まだまだ馴染みの薄いGBAしかし今日の挑戦者はその魅力を存分に教えてくれました。これから判定を下しますが、結果がどうあろうと私は挑戦者に感謝の気持ちを表したいと思います。それでは発表します。a different kind of battle today in Kitchen Stadium with an expert in cooking the meat of game animals and a theme ingredient rarely eaten here. Challenger Kawasaki showing indeed he's got the game to stand tall in this setting. Iron Chef Sakai, all the prep work, did it bite him in the end? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Challenger Kawasaki is here! It's the challenger, yes! Kawasaki taking it, the specialist in game meats, knocking off Sakai on this day. This theme ingredient, he is the one. He called it early and no doubt about it now. Congratulations are in order for Seiya Kawasaki beating the Iron Chef. Yeah.